Right, so here's the setup I've got for uh, truing up my wheels here. I've got temporary pulley put onto the the wheel I want to turn up. Now I've mounted this shaft here onto the table just through a block of wood and it's just held on with a couple of um, clamps and I've just put a couple of blocks of little bits of wood there to hold this here out from the bench like so and keeps it away from these pulleys. I've also got a small wooden um, ring here and this piece here which is basically just a clamp it just goes on top there and I'll just close up the gap like that and now that won't come off next I need to put on the belt like so onto my temporary pulley and just tension my motor back like so position the motor so the belt is kept clear of the wheel and just clamp the motor down to the bench okay that shouldn't be going anywhere in a hurry so I'll just give that a quick spin up here on the bench Okay, that looks pretty good. Next I have this piece here, it's just a piece of uh, timber. Cut a notch out of it here to go around the wheel, like so. And that's going to act as my fence. And then, to make sure that it doesn't go anywhere, I have a, um, an adjustable height um, thing that I made for uh, pulling timber through my table saw and all the rest and it's just going to sit under it and just provide a bit more holding. I'll just move it along like that. And I'll just clamp it to the to the support right and that'll give me very nice solid support here for when it comes time to uh, to face off my my wheel here I've added this small stick here to my fence so that when I'm uh, running across I can get a bit of an angle up on the on the wheel there while I'm cutting Right, so next I'll just true up the, the wheel along here and uh, just get it uh, so it's uh, square when I put the, uh, the square on it across the face. So here goes. won't take much to do it and I can see here looking at it that it is square across the face here so next I need to look at the crown I'll remove my little stick here this particular wheel I didn't leave much meat on at all I only made it uh, about a millimeter larger than it needed to be and um, so as a result I, I basically just have to true it up and I'm right uh, so I've made this piece here it's uh, got a I've done this on the CNC machine and that gives me the uh, the angle for the crown so I'm basically just going to 
sit that so it's in the center the high spot is in the center of my wheel and I'll just clamp it down to the table and this is going to give me a uh, something I can sight the uh, profile against as I go as usual when you want one you can't find a clamp this one will do okay we'll do the same again Okay, I'll give it a wee sand with sandpaper. I'll just remove remove my template here, and that looks really good. So I'll just give it a wee sand. Uh, and I can see that it, it looks to be... Uh, it actually needs a little bit more taken off each side. It's got a low spot right in the centre there, so I'll... Let's clamp this back on. The glue for this must be pretty hard because I'm seeing sparks come off it. Right, that looks a lot better. Give a bit more of a sand. Oh, that looks really good. That, that looks excellent. There's no light coming through there. It conforms very nicely with the, uh, the profile piece I've cut. So. No, that's, that's good. That will be top notch. Now looking at here is the, uh, the uh, pulley that I've made. This is going to be the permanent pulley, which will drive the wheel. It's already glued and screwed onto the wheel here, so it's not coming off in a hurry. And I was able to V this earlier on as well. As you can see, here's my V-belt here, an old V-belt. And it fits just nicely into that groove. So it's just nice and flush. And should work really well. It's got a really nice V on it. And I'll quickly show you how I did that. Right, to, to turn the pulley here, what I've done 
is I've started off with this here, which is a uh, it's a parting tool, standard wood turning parting tool. And after I trued it up along here, I basically just plunged into the pulley here about half an inch and removed the majority of the material that needed to be removed. I then grabbed this here, which is my modified, it's a modified file. Uh, you would have seen it in my previous video, but um, I had to modify it even further. I had to take material off the side here because uh, I couldn't get it close enough in. Once that was there, I then basically just plunged it straight in like that there and it cut the V, the v shape here into my pulley, making it um, really easy to do and giving me a good finish on the sides here. So I'm really pleased with the way that's come out. Okay, now we're up to the fun part, the balancing of our wheels. Now we've got the crown put on them and they've uh, been trued up and everything. We need to get them balanced. So what I've done is I've stuck a, a, an 8mm rod just into an extrusion on my CNC machine here. Just put a couple of um, small bearings, skateboard bearings, on the rod. And I'm just going to put uh, one bearing on there and one bearing on the other. There we are. That gives us a lightweight bearing that will um, allow easy movement unlike, unlike the, uh, the bearings I've got in here. Now, I just let it go, and the whole thing will swing backwards and forwards until uh, we find the point where it's heaviest. So I'll just let it go backwards and forwards like this. I see the dust in the holes here as well, so I suppose it's a good idea to remove that. Right. Just going to come straight down from centre and just mark on there where the heavy point is. Next one I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a hole in my wheel to remove some material. And um, we'll see how it balances after that. Okay, I've drilled this hole in it. It's a 25mm hole. And as you can see, it's still heavy. This is the heavy point here now. So. This is actually quite out of balance. It's uh, it's got quite a lot of uh, weight at this end here. So what I'm going to do is I'm now going to drill a hole right here, and hopefully that'll get rid of a, uh, removing this much more material will uh, get rid of uh, a majority of the uh, of the weight. Right, as you can see. Um, I've been busy, I've been drilling holes flat out in this area here. I've only gone about half an inch into the material because I actually still want a wheel left when I'm finished. Uh, I can only imagine that there was a piece of lead buried in here somewhere because it's obviously very heavy and very out of balance. Um, now when I give it a, a light spin, it never stops at the same place twice. So um, basically it's pretty well balanced. Um, certainly that was badly out of balance before, but uh, this time, there we are, it's stopped. I know it's going back a little bit. There, it stopped. Last time it stopped here, the time before it actually stopped here, and now it's stopped here. So. Basically, there is now no heavy spot on this wheel, so uh, that's about as balanced as, uh, as you can make it. And um, I think the time has come to give it a bit of a paint and move on to the next uh, uh, part of the build. Okay, guys, well, that's it for today, and I'll uh, leave you to it. Cheers.